In this tutorial, we will be giving you an overview of the timeline page, its features, and how they can be applied. Let's start by looking at the page itself. On the left, we have the media browser from which we can load any type of file that AI accepts. At the bottom of the page, we see an icon for each of the active fixtures. If we select one of them by left clicking on it, we can see its timeline track appear above it. Over on the right side of the page, we can see several buttons. Play, pause, internal clock, MIDI timecode, return to zero, delete selected media, playback mode, which offers play once or loop mode, and finally, save timeline, which allows us to save the completed timeline and load it into AI as a single hexagon trigger. To navigate around the timeline, click and drag with the left button and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So, let's start to make a timeline. First of all, we drag in an audio file. We can use the insert key to add marker points whilst the timeline is playing. Now, let's add a video. We can either use the AI browser to choose our media, or we can drag and drop from Windows straight into AI. To move the media file, select it and then press M. Change its position by moving the mouse and press the left button when you are happy with where it is. Note the way it snaps to the marker points we made earlier. To change how long the clip plays for, select it, press and hold the ALT key and using the left mouse button, click on the start or end of the media and move it to your desired location. Clips can also be copied and pasted by selecting them and then using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. We can also use keyframes to automate parameters on the timeline. First of all, select a clip. Once selected, to the left of the track we see a drop-down menu entitled Parameter List. If we select an option from the list, we can then add keyframes by right-clicking over the media clip at a chosen point. Keyframes can then be moved by either individually selecting a keyframe or holding down shift and dragging across several of them at the same time. Delete removes the selected keyframe. To add more tracks for each of the layers on a fixture, you can use the plus and minus buttons. This allows you to create complex, multi-layer timelines. When you are happy, you can use the bottom button on the right to export the timeline, which can then be loaded into the performance page and triggered from a single hexagon queue. For your reference, all of the keyboard shortcuts mentioned for the timeline page can be found in the README file in the Distrib folder.